Welcome to Black Diesel Garage, I'm Gabe. And in this video, I buy this truck and another truck here in Texas, about four and a half hours away from where I am located, because my truck blew up. Hey guys, I'm going to look at a truck. I'm in Texas on US 59, I think is what it is. My truck motor blew up and I need a truck for pulling my camper in work. So I found this truck in Texas. It's missing some parts, but it's a uh, 96 crew cab Ford. Basically the same setup as mine, except for it's a 6.9 with a turbo on it. It's been sitting two years. It hasn't ran since then. It was a running truck, but the, the dude's truck, um, he was driving another 6.9 diesel. The fan KO'd the radiator. So he had this truck sitting there, it was running I believe, and he robbed those parts to fix his other truck, and it's been sitting since. So as far as I know, it needs a power steering pump, a vacuum pump, a fan, brake lines, um, battery cables, batteries, radiator, and I think that's about all that this truck is missing. It's four and a half-ish hours away, this morning I left at 5 and I'm heading down there now to go look at the truck possibly fix it and buy it too I doubt I'll bring it home today or tomorrow I'll probably have to come down to Texas some other time to grab the truck just because transporting vehicles and insurance and stuff I got a small town insurance and it closed on Sundays and it's a Sunday I'm off work so I can't really get it insured to get it home at the moment and have to rent a trailer and it'd be a little bit of a mess with what all I got going on right now. But I do need a truck. So I'm probably going to go down there, look at it, fix it, and buy it. And last night, I think I got to bed around 12, 12.30. I robbed all these parts off White Lightning, my white crew cab, because I need them for this truck. And that motor blew up. So... Went to bed real late, left at five this morning. I'm about two hours away now. I'm gonna get there and look at the truck and hopefully show it to you guys. So let's get on down the road, I guess. Well guys, <clears throat> sorry this ain't the best quality at the moment and I have not shown you the trucks yet. I actually wound up buying two trucks. Um, I left this morning at four. Looked at the one truck I was planning on getting running and driving back to the next day, Monday, or at some other point. Turns out we couldn't get it to start. It had more issues than what we previously had thought, and there was also water in the block. So that'll be a fun project for later. There's probably mm, two or three gallons of water in the block. So... We'll, at some point later on in life, tear apart the cooler of the two trucks. That would work a little better because it's four-wheel drive. But wound up, it was a package deal with two trucks, so I bought both the trucks. Um, the guy I bought them from, great guy, incredibly nice, very, very helpful. Um, but he didn't bring a title for the other truck because he thought I... I told him I wasn't interested in the two-wheel drive, but... I needed a truck and the two-wheel drive ran so bought the trucks together he didn't have the title he's working tomorrow so I had to go to his place and get the title so the trucks were kind of in between um, Nova Scotia and Jacksonville kind of in between there so then I went I drove from Hot Springs Arkansas down to there around four and a half hours then drove from in between those two places down to Houston. I was about 40 minutes from the beach. Didn't go to the beach. And um, got the title and stuff. Um, and I wound it up going up to Nova Scotia again tonight. So tonight I'm in Nova Scotia waiting on a U-Haul trailer. I sat in... Um, Houston for a while trying to figure out where I could get the U-Haul trailer I needed and stuff. So tomorrow morning 
I'm going to get a U-Haul trailer here in Houston, or sorry, here in Nova Scotia, um, Texas. I'm going to get a car trailer, hook it up behind this Toyota, take it to where the trucks are, hook it up to the running two-wheel drive truck, load the Toyota on the back, and go to Hot Springs after getting insurance put on the truck. But other than that, I'm ready to go. So tomorrow morning, I'll get that trailer, get it loaded up, and I'll show you guys the truck. So I'm going to be going to sleep, and I guess you guys will be seeing that now. It's uh, about 10 o'clock right now. I'll probably get up around 6 o'clock and fool around here a little bit so I can pick up the trailer at 8. That's when they open. So good night. See y'all. All right, well, I got up and around this morning. Uh, sleeping in the truck was not fun. There ain't a whole lot of room in this truck. And from working pipeline, I got a gas monitor with me. And I only slept about two hours and the gas monitor was going off. I slept in older vehicles that were very aerated. But this newer 2009 Toyota Tacoma, um, apparently it doesn't let air in or out because my gas monitor was going off that there wasn't oxygen. So popped all the windows and that was kind of cold but slept that way all night tossing and turning got up <clears throat> got myself some coffee went to o'reilly's grabbed a ball uh, an extension plug because the truck i'm hauling with needs a ball and an extension plug because the plug for the trailer is up in the bed we grabbed some razor blades and because windows were dirty where i had to scrape some stuff and some paper towels and glass cleaner just picked up the trailer and I'm ready to hit the road. So I'm gonna get on with that now. This is the real one I was after, but wound up buying them. I'll show you guys the truck. This truck is running. This truck, the plan was to buy it and fix it and drive it home, but found out it had more issues than I thought. So, and then the owner thought, so we're not able to drive it home. So he wanted to sell this truck. And then if he was going to be selling this truck, he wanted to sell them as a package deal. I wanted to buy this truck. It won't work for now. So bought them both so I can use that truck. It's a two wheel drive. This one's a four wheel drive. I'll probably eventually do something with this truck, but for now I'll use it and then I'll get this one running. I got a U-Haul trailer. I don't know if my Toyota will fit on the U-Haul trailer. Um, I hope it will. I think it will. So we're gonna test it here in a minute. Now I'd already paid for it and brought it here, but we're gonna fire up this 6.9 diesel hook it up to this trailer, load the Toyota up, and head back to Arkansas. I stayed in Texas and slept in my truck overnight so that um, I could get insurance on this today and drive it home. Um, and one thing, if you guys sleep in your truck and it's a newer, nicer truck like this, roll your windows down, because I work pipeline, so I had a gas monitor, and the gas monitor went off about sleeping two hours because I used up the oxygen in my truck. So crack your windows, or if it's an older truck like this, I've slept in old trucks like this, Never had gas monitor, but didn't feel didn't feel bad or nothing. So I think old trucks that let in air like this are fine. But a newer truck like this, woke up two hours later, my gas monitor's going off, my dog's standing up, I have a headache, so probably used all the oxygen. So be mindful if you sleep in a newer vehicle. And without further ado, let's get a look at these trucks. So here's the one we came down to buy. And this thing is a beast, it looks pretty slick, and I think we can make it look very slick someday. Probably some like 35s front and back, 12 wides. Polish the rims, polish the running boards in chrome. Uh, probably put some chrome smoker visors like that truck's got, maybe swap them from that truck. I don't know that I like the handles and lights, but I'll probably leave them that way. It's a pretty good looking truck. You can tell in spots it was gray at one time and just here and there there's a little bit of rust by most of the handles there is some pretty bad rust but overall it's very clean um there's some messed up paint there this door has some dents in it other than that i do not believe that there's any dents on this vehicle another odd thing i saw is this bed here usually you have a marker light here well this is filled in i don't know if someone filled that in or they bought it and it didn't have the hole cut but they wound up putting these round lights down here which honestly i kind of like it 
You got aluminum rims all around. I don't know. I haven't crawled and checked. But I'm pretty... Actually, based on how far the rim sets out, I bet that's a spacer, not a... Um, not an actual dually rear end. So probably a non-dually truck, someone put this bed on. If you look at the frame, there's some oil and fuel, but the frame isn't really rusted. Um, needs some tail lights and things. Tailgate's not the greatest. It's got some backup lights and like three hitches. There's a tag on the tire. The tires are like brand new. Uh, at some point, someone cared about this truck and did some good work to it. Uh, there's a dent up here. Um, I was told that the radiator fan came off and busted up the radiator on that truck, I believe, is what he said. So he pulled the stuff from this truck, I think. And um, wound up pulling other parts. No power steering pump. No vacuum pump. It is turboed. I've never seen a turbo like that. So comment if you guys know anything about those turbos. I just hadn't seen it. Uh, you can see there's some weird patch weld jobs on this thing. This pipe runs from here to here. Then your air filter goes up here. Um, but what happened was... Tried to spin it over. We're spinning it over. We were not getting fuel. So that was something. We had water coming out of the oil filter. There was a hole in the bottom. So we drained about two gallons of water out of this thing. And then drained the oil, which was very gloopy. Dumped some new oil in it. Or used oil that was just taken out of this truck. Um, cranked it a little more to try to get the oil <clears throat> washing over the bearings and stuff where we probably put water. <clears throat> and I'm guessing how the water got in here. If this tube was on here and someone left the hood open and this was open, I still would think it'd be pretty hard for this to fill up with rain, fill up the turbo and fill up all the way past this pipe to get water into the motor. It sat here for two to three years. So I'm guessing that was just condensation inside the motor, like off the valve covers and such that built up water. So hopefully oil stayed on the rockers and things, but I'm going to bet that the rockers are probably covered in rust and the push rods are probably covered in rust. So I'm hoping we can replace these parts on the engine, pull the valve covers, pull the rockers and push rods, clean them up or get new ones. And... Hopefully the cylinder walls are all right. Um, hopefully we can change the oil and hopefully this thing will run. But that's a little ways off. I'm just going to haul it to somewhere. It also had some electrical issues. He said when he parked it here, it was and pulled the radiator. It was a good running vehicle at that point. Um, someone has some deal going here with a lot of fuses. It's aftermarket. Something here is aftermarket, I think, for an air compressor on this truck. There's, it looks like an air valve bleed off. Um, I'll show you guys the inside in a minute. But underneath we have some cool goodies. Back here, here's a pressure switch. Looks like not for a pickup. Looks like off a well or something or air compressor in a sense. Um, I don't know if that's normal to do that. I don't know if that's a little air compressor or what that is. Here's a big old air tank. And that's all I see as far as that. I don't see bags, so I wonder if they had an air horn on the truck or just an extra air supply. Looks like right here there's a fairly nice exhaust brake plumbed in. So that's pretty cool. My exhaust system doesn't look half bad. Under the truck doesn't look too greasy. Still has both tanks. More exhaust pipe. I think someone really cared about this truck. Um, here's the transfer case. I haven't seen one like this. Supposedly it's a better heavy duty one. Um, not factory, but I personally do not know about that. Um, there's a little bit of grease under the transmission, but it honestly looks really clean. And here's the crossover pipe. And the crossover pipe is rusted right off right there. So that's something I'd have to fix and wouldn't be the best for the truck either. 
I think that's all the goodies underneath. It has exhaust brake, air compressor, and it's pretty clean. Show you guys the back of the cab. There's two injection pumps. There's a, there's more filters than this. There's a ton of filters in this truck. Headliner, faded, kind of okay shape. I could probably cover it in cowhide or something. There's a the roof. Here's a brand new dash pad. There's exhaust wrap, header wrap, whatever, and all kinds of goodies. Seats are all right. I don't like them, but they're all right. Door panels have been painted black. They need redone. They weren't done a good job. Like, see, there's another rust hole. It's only where the handles are is the rust holes, I believe. Seat, kind of cool looking seat. A little weird how far that lays back, and there's some things I don't like about it, but not bad. Matches the truck. Once again, not the best painted door panels. Um, the truck is missing the whole dash. And he said he pulled the dash to clean up the dash because it was really gross like that paint. And it slid out of the back of the truck and he broke it. But he said all the wiring should still be hooked up and still should be in working order. But I couldn't get power on anything. So probably something to do with under the hood. Something got robbed or something from the battery to the cab power. Um, but four wheel drive, automatic C6. Um, looks like a tilt column from here. Uh, I'll check that. 96, so it probably is a tilt column. But I think this thing would look really good with some black or brown carpet, maybe vinyl floor, but like some King Ranch seats. Do a good job painting all the door panels, black dash, or maybe find a brown dash with a black dash pad. And then either do a leather wrapped cover uh leather leather wrap sealing medelio or a cowhide sealing medelio maybe put some leather on this or cowhide on this or something oh yeah another thing is this is a power slider window aftermarket power slider window it has a bush guard he pulled off there's some interior panels and things some flex pipe it takes the factory air breather, old busted up radiator. It's an aluminum one, so it's been replaced. There's a bunch of parts, fuel pump, or sorry, power steering pump, pieces, tail lights, just all kinds of stuff. Little swirly top light. So, a lot of good parts. There's a Looks like some straight tread spare or straight single tire truck spare. Add two injection pumps. Um, so someone liked this truck and put some work into it because it's a dually. They put a dually bed on it, kind of matches up. They painted it, put an exhaust brake, put a turbo, put an air compressor. Those seats probably are not factory. I don't know on that. Um, but it was a single tire and they did all that stuff. Everything overall looks pretty clean. So I'm gonna say someone really liked this truck and took care of it at one time. So look around the outside. And these trucks don't have a hundreds place on the miles, but looking off here, it has Look at the pedals. Pedals do not look too worn down. They actually look very good, not worn down. The seat doesn't really look worn down, but we can't go off that because it's probably not the original seat. But judging off the pedals not being wore out, the frame being clean, the motor being clean, I would say it'd be a long shot for it to have paint and bed and stuff at having 30,000 miles but I bet this truck has 130,000. I doubt it's 230,000. So I'm gonna say 130,000 miles on this truck. Aftermarket speakers. Pretty cool pickup. Now let's look at this one we'll be driving today. I need to throw a ball in the back. It's got a big old pipe bumper. It's got a plug-in back here, so I got an extender for the trailer. And it's got a 
fifth wheel hitch, some just random stuff, and um, make sure if you drive a vehicle and you haven't had it tagged, take the tags off. That's very illegal. You'll get in more trouble having wrong tags on it than having no tags on it. Um, it's been bedlined on the back half here. He ran out of stuff to bedline here. The rest of it is bedlined on up the back of the cab and over the top of the cab. Um, it has good tires on it. It's a two wheel drive. Um, the bed is not an 86 bed, as you can see. It doesn't have the crease in the fender here. Um, smoker visors, handles. Uh, there's a bunch of filters and new stuff. Um, not great in the interior, but not bad at all. I guess this truck, it's actually pretty good in the interior. Um, F-350. I don't like how it's mounted, but a good front bumper. Um, I guess there's pollen on the window and someone's cut here. Um, all new shocks. I really wasn't paying that close attention to what all he said about this truck because it wasn't the one I was interested in. Uh, front looks a little more wore out on interior, but not bad. Um, seats worn into. I guess this sat in a barn for like 18 years at one point in its life. So, um, looking at the pedals, you can see there's wear on the brake and stuff. It says 80,000. So I would guess 180,000 on this too, because that's almost 200,000. And looking at those pedals, I could believe 200,000, but this sitting in a barn for 18 years and granted there's some interior wear, but it doesn't look like 300,000 miles worth of wear on this truck. Um, it's an original dually four speed, two wheel drive. Let me pop the hood. He said he rebuilt this motor. Um, technically, it was not a full rebuild. I'd call it more of a regasket. Took the block out, cleaned the block, left the um, cylinders in it and the crank in it. He plastic gauged the bearings in it, and they came out good. So he just left that all alone, left the cylinders in. He said he should have done rings on it. Wishes he would have, but he didn't. But it's got the new valley pan. He reworked the heads. He regasketed everything. Um, I could be wrong, but I don't think it needed it. I think he just went ahead and did that. So this being regasketed, you can see there's a little bit of oil leaking. He never retightened the bolts after first putting it together. I think it has 6,000 miles on it since he did this, if I remember right. Um, but didn't paint the block. And you can see it's actually very shiny metal and clean. Like he did take it out and clean it up. Um, he changed the oil on this the other day and I guess the coolant system has a lot of brown junk in it He was thinking it was from the block I'm kind of guessing that maybe someone dumped um, stop leaking it at one point And actually if the fan did come off this and if the radiator in the back of that truck Is one out of here. It's a new radiator. It's not original and it probably came from this truck so I bet someone was having a leak, put stop leak in the system, which I never recommend, and then wound up still having to get a new radiator. In my opinion on stop leak, if it can plug a leak, it's gonna plug your radiator core. So don't put it in, and it's very hard to wash out. He put a fuel um, filter on, or a coolant filter on there. He disconnected it, but he had one on there to try to siphon some of that brown junk out. Um, that's about it for the motor. I threw my batteries in it. Someone had messed with this, took stuff apart. So he just recently messed with it and threw some things back together. I think this wire goes here for charging. It was on the battery, but it looks like it should run to this fuse and then to this block, which should charge the battery. So I think there's a lot of wires here. I think that's put back together right. The glow plugs are not currently working. He took away the AC and just did heat. Um, these are for the headlights. They weren't working, but we threw these on made them work. They're actually for the headlights as nice aftermarket headlights Which is nice because these trucks don't have good working headlights uh, Front brakes use a little bit of fluid 
but it actually stops really good. So we're gonna get this thing started, hook up to the trailer, and load this on the trailer, hopefully, and head on four and a half hours away to where my campsite is. So I'll get this thing started. Get some go-go juice, some spark plug fluid. These don't have spark plugs, so you gotta spray the spark of juice in them. And see if she fires up. Well, off camera, I'm gonna do all my swapping because I don't have a tripod with me. And now I'm kind of in a hurry, so. I'm gonna get to doing that. And there's a parts truck over there. I think I'm just gonna rob the mirrors from it because they're actual tow mirrors like this and they be pretty good on that. So I'm gonna swap things around. All right, well, I'm ready to go. Truck's running, hooked up to the trailer, all the lights work. There's the trailer plug, hooked up, and this thing did fit. I think it's actually heavier on the back than the front, or maybe just because this tire is low. But I at least need air in this tire, the other one doesn't look like that. Truck's strapped down, it fit but barely, overhangs a bunch, got my vest through the back to work as a flag, and the wheel straps could not fit my big tires. Went through the top of the A-arm. But we're ready to go. Let's get this show on the road. Well, it's raining. But it'll be all right. Truck's ran pretty good so far. It's a little noisy. Um, I'm about to throw some rain X on that front window. Filling up with diesel. One of the problems was my phone. The radio wouldn't charge my phone. So I ripped out some wiring and stuff and put a thingy deal in so I can charge my phone. But it's running pretty good so far. Now just fueling up. Looks like they are not going to work. Oh, it's trying. Maybe once the window's wet, maybe they'll work. All right, so a little update. Still in the same town, it's been a couple hours. Tried to clean my windshield on the outside because my wipers immediately quit working and no one has a wiper motor I couldn't find. Um, me and Soli are enjoying some water burger. Never had that before. I haven't took a bite of mine yet. But also, uh, it's kind of a rainy, dark day and I'm in Texas and they're kind of strict. And I lost all cabin power. So I don't know if I can swap fuel tanks. I don't know if I can, my phone won't charge and it's 20%. Um, I don't know my way. Uh, yeah, I just have no lights, no wipers, no nothing in this truck anymore. The only thing I have is a running motor. So, and two full tanks of fuel, but I don't even doubt, I doubt I can swap tanks at the moment. And my phone won't charge, so I guess I'll get on down the road and hope my 20% battery stays good for four hours. So here's where I'm at now. Functions quit working on the truck. 
my phone was about dead and it needed to charge so i went to pull over right here got pulled over sat here for about a minute trying to work on things the truck died the batteries are dead unloaded my truck on the trailer hooked it up to this truck all the functions started working so what's happening is my battery charger is not charging and someone's messed with the wiring on this since it's last been running so i need to figure out why it's not charging whether the alternator's bad or whether something's wrong with how it's set up at the moment but um i have zero wiring stuff i have a pair of wire crimpers that's it for wiring and jumper cables i'm gonna have to cut wires and just tap wires to see what's sparking i have no tools to work on electrical and i hate electrical i'm not good at it and at the moment the electrical has problems as always so let's work on this get it running get this back on the trailer and get on our way because i'm ready to get out of here all right so i fixed the problem and we're all loaded back up got headlights problem was this fuse right here went bad so i have to move that from there good to hit the road again and we got lights well we stopped for a little break to let Sully out and have some fun and so far now so far so good I like the truck runs pretty good pulls pretty good I don't think it's been turned up so I'll probably turn it up a hair it has like two in it has like probably inch and a half or two inch exhaust on it two tips just dumping out right behind the cab under the bed so it's pretty noisy i don't like that i'd like to go to a better exhaust on it like a three inch all the way um three or bigger um the bush guard i don't know if i want to lift it up leave it where it is i don't know what i want to do with that i do probably want to fasten it a little differently than that and probably build a tube in the front that comes out to the side, fill it in like our rear channel. And just clean it up a little bit. Maybe finish painting it tan, maybe paint it a different color. Probably just finish bedlining it tan and call the truck good, retint re the windows on it. But nice little stop. And I'm gonna hurry up and get down the road again. Sully, come here. Load up. Good boy. Good boy. park where I'm staying. The truck's still running good. Toyota got here just fine. I'm going to unload that, take the trailer to the U-Haul place and call it a day. Maybe get a shower and some good rest. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video and all the support from you guys is appreciated. All the comments, liking, subscribing. Thank you guys very much and keep it up. We'll catch you next time on Black Diesel Garage. See ya.